Welcome to News Now. I'm your host, Joanna Juvelis, News Director for Belmont Journal. And today we are going to talk about two events being held at the Beach Street Center during the month of October. One is uh, on October 9th, and it's to celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day. And the other is on October 14th to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. And with us today are Catherine Bonfilio. She's a member of the Board of Directors for Belmont Against Racism, and Maribel Carvajal de Salazar, organizer and MC uh, for the event on October 14th. Welcome, Catherine and Maribel. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us, Joanne. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, so, Catherine, why don't we start with you? Can you tell our viewers the history of Indigenous Peoples Day in Belmont? Certainly. Uh, just uh, two fabulous high school students uh, decided to lobby the town and for town meeting to have the name of uh, this date in October changed to Indigenous Peoples Day, as people knew it used to be Columbus Day. And through their unbelievable work, um, they were able to uh, get, get this passed. Uh, they gave presentations to the select board, to the town meetings, and the town meeting in the spring of 2021 voted to make this Indigenous Peoples Day. And we had our first celebration, which the town uh, sponsored along with Belmont Against Racism uh, and the Human Rights Commission. And we had a, an event um, that on uh, on Indigenous Peoples Day. That was our first annual, and now we're happy to say we're celebrating our second annual Indigenous Peoples Day on October 9th. It will be at 4 p.m. at the Beach Street Center, and I want to thank Dana Bickleton and the Beach Street Center for uh, hosting this event. Very helpful. And I also want to give a shout out to Stephanie Cremant, who actually is the main organizer who helped us put this together. So we have a lot of co-sponsors in town. It's a very long list, but um, Belmont Against Racism uh, is, is the funding organization behind this. And then we have the Beach Street Center helping us. And who we're having is a Wampanoag group called the Eastern Sons. And they are a drumming and they also have dancers. And what they say is they share songs as a way to keep traditions alive. And uh, they are song keepers. So they honor the sacredness of sound through healing modality and community builders. And they ask you to come feel the beat of the universal heart through their drumming. So they will be performing starting at around 4 p.m. And we also want to give a shout out to the Belmont Public Library and particularly Lauren Fender. They will have a um, table with books that are uh, elevating uh, indigenous authors um, and people can actually check them out on that day. So that would be good. Um, and I also want to, they've also had a series of programs at the library. They've already had two, one which was just fabulous on Wampan history of Wampanoag culture. Um, as we know, Wampanoags are New England, uh, New England group. And um, they are also sponsoring with a group of other uh, libraries on October, let me just the October, uh, I'm sorry, 18th at 630. And that is on water and spirituality. And that will be um, uh, co-sponsored with the uh, Newton and a whole bunch of other libraries. And uh, they're going to have uh, four different indigenous uh, leaders uh, talking about the importance of water. So there's a lot happening. Um, and people might want to know, this is a reminder that this is on Sunday, November, uh, October 9th. So Sunday, October 9th. October 10th is Indigenous Peoples Day, but the Belmont Religious Council does their Belmont serves on that day. We didn't want to interfere. And also uh, Newton has just a huge celebration of Indigenous Peoples Day. And I thought we thought some people might want to head over there on, on the 10th. So that, that's you, what Catherine. I have. So if people want to find out any more information, is there a website they should go to or Facebook? So, 
Yeah, so um, they they can, well, Belmont Against Racism um, has a website and they can find out there. And uh, if they want to email us at belmontagainstracism at gmail.com, I'd be happy to answer any questions that people might have. That's great. And, uh, so it's at four o'clock on Sunday, October 9th. It's at the Beach Street Center and it's right. for all ages and it's yes, free and free. open to the public. Yes. But you are, I think I, and saw accessible. A warning, <laughs> I think I saw a warning that if you uh, don't like loud noises, it, it may not be the right event for you. <laughs> that is correct. The drummers are used to being outside, but we just couldn't take risking the weather. Um, we don't have a tent. And so uh, thankfully, the Beach Street Center said, sure, come on indoors. But uh you know, be, be prepared to really feel the beat. <laughs> so Thank we're really you. looking forward to it. Thank you. That sound like a lot of fun, Catherine. So now we'll turn it over to Maribel to talk about what is happening on October 14th to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Hi, Maribel. It's funny to have you as a guest and not the host today. Yes. Thank you, Joanna. It's nice to be in the other side of the table. <laughs> Happy to so be what, what can you tell us about Hispanic Heritage Month? What is it? So the observation started in 1968 uh, under the President Johnson, and it was expanded by President Reagan in 1988, and it covered 30 days to celebrate the Hispanic Heritage Month. And it was enacted as a law in 1988, and it, it was public uh, as a public law. So we want to celebrate and, and observe this day because um, we, we know we are a community, a growing community that is helping and, and building their future, building their family within um, our town. We have many, uh, many neighbors that have reached out and are happy to celebrate our heritage. So it's a, we, our diversity is our strength. And the theme of this year uh, nationally is um, Unidos, Inclusivity for a Stronger Nation. I see. So what kinds of things will be happening um, during the event at the Beach Street Center between 5.30 and 8.30 on Friday, October 14th? So we are very thankful for uh, the Beach Street Center, the music students of our high school. They are going to join us. Uh, we're going to have music. I am very thankful for the group of volunteers from many uh, Latin American countries. They're our neighbors. We are going to showcase different countries and we are calling the community. If you are um, a Latin American uh, origin, please contact me. We would like to have a table for, from your country. We'll be happy to add you. We're gonna have food. We we will have delicious arepas. We will have chocolate and pan. And it's a tradition from our culture uh, to share food. We will also have music and different activities that you will enjoy. And one important part is that it will be all hands-on. We will have crafts and demonstrations how to make tortillas, how to make um, salsa. So please join us on October 14th from 5.30 to 8.30. And Maribel, what is your email? MaribelC21 at Outlook.com. Great. And is this event for all ages and free? Yes, free, all ages. Please come, rain or shine, we're gonna be there. The marching band, uh, high school students are coming. I'm very thankful for Ms. Lacaz. She's inviting all her music students to join us and uh, perform Latin music. It's gonna be really fun. And um, please join us, support that. Thank you, Maribel. And thank you, Catherine. I wish you both well with these events. And once again, they are on October 9th to celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day and October 14th to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. I am looking forward to both of those. And um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. That was it for today. I'm your host, Joanna Juvelis. See you next time.